actually I stayed in India only because of doing yoga with Anya when the monsoon started and the weather was so bad and it was raining con uh, constantly. There was a good reason to be home. Also, it brings some uh, routine to my life uh, every day, morning, uh, doing this. But I think I'm in the beginning of the, of, the, of the journey, so I still don't know how it will change my life. But for sure, um, it will have a good influence on me. No, like, it's actually not surprising. Like, it's not surprising. It's surprising. It's surprising. Oh. So over five years ago, uh, I went to the point when I was very depressed and unhappy with my life. Eight years ago, I moved to England to find a better life, but I actually haven't found a better life. In fact, my life even deteriorated because now I had uh, enough money to uh, take even more drugs and uh, uh, drink more. And I was working on the bar that time, which didn't make uh, my addiction easier. Uh, and over five years ago, I was so depressed and so unhappy with myself and everything around that I actually wanted to kill myself. And then luckily I, I discovered yoga and I actually discovered yoga through YouTube channel. I knew that um, working out releases serotonin in your head, so the happy hormones, so you can actually lift up your mood and being so depressed, living in the bed, thinking about suicide or mission, you know. Uh, I thought, okay, maybe I can do some exercise to release serotonin and therefore become a little bit happier. Inhale back to center, exhale other side. and press back Now walk your hands close to your body and bring your hands on the outside of the body. Now bring your hands back under your shoulders. Inhale, lift your right hand up. Look towards your right fingertips. And exhale. Put your shoulder down and move the left one. Left hand reaches up and bring it down on the ground above the And my first class with her was uh, was in a uh, was in June in a, in a in a temple where she was teaching at that time and uh, I had a really good experience learning from her from that class and I was very impressed uh, by her knowledge and the way she she did the class with uh, with so much attention to details. Okay, elbows straight. Is everyone of you okay with me adjusting your postures? Anyone is not okay with that? Keep your hands up. Keep lifting. Keep stretching your fingers. Spread your fingers wide open, creating space in between your fingers. Then I type on YouTube channel and then something like yoga for beginners came, popped out. And I start practicing just simple 12, 20 minutes uh, yoga practice, which is not even true yoga, just like a fitness yoga, you know. And then suddenly I was becoming calmer. Suddenly I was waking up a little bit earlier before I was going to work. And after work, instead of coming back and, and getting into drugs again, I would just put my mat on the ground and, and start practicing. So um, I didn't even know what's happening, but changes start happening in me. And I start practicing more and more and more. And soon before I even realized, I start waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning just so I can practice two hours before I go to, before I go to work. And I start becoming calmer, healthier, more steady in my head. My head was not running around like monkey anymore. And I met Anya first, like almost four years ago, when she was uh, teaching yoga at her beginning. Uh, 
um, some small place in Arambol I was staying there. So I used to know her in the very uh, her very first steps when she started to teach me. Uh, I met her again this time, so almost a year back now. And after a few months, we started to practice again. So now it's been six months, something like this. Yeah, she has this um, say, softness, gentleness, and at the same time, she can be very intense and she's like very focused. So with her, it's easy, like she's guiding very well. And drop them behind you. Please touch the forehead to the ground. Inhale, come up, lift. Exhale over to the other side. For the head. And exhale, fold forward. Towards this front, straight leg. And again, here your upper body is resting. Don't worry about your spine. You don't have to keep your spine super straight. Your lower body is working. Uh, I started learning yoga with Anya uh, from July last this year. And it's almost close to six months. It was like uh, almost my first time when I started learning yoga because before I had previously it was not very regular, what not very organized like a class like this. So I had some little practice before and then I started learning with uh, Anya from uh, July this year and it's incredible. She's an amazing teacher uh, for many reasons, for her uh, knowledge, for her understanding of the subject, for uh, the kind of variation and flow she can introduce you to introduce you to the practice but inside me there was this big call like i was crying for the truth so then i sold everything i had i bought one way ticket to india and with one backpack i flew to delhi and this is where my journey started it was four and a half years ago uh, and since then i was traveling the world i i stayed in india for six months I did my second yoga certificate because when I was still in, in England, I was so into yoga that I did a teaching training course just to deepen my practice. I never actually thought that I'm going to become a yoga teacher. Uh, in fact, if someone told me five years ago that I'm going to be traveling around the world teaching yoga, I would never believe that. A good energy. She is a good teacher. She is more of a giver and um, it is good. And on top of that, like what she did in Arambol is like an, is to build a community than to make a class. It happens that everywhere I go, I am so into yoga that it's, it's kind of attracting people. I never go with an intention of teaching. In fact, I came this time to India to reconnect, to recharge, to learn more about yoga. So I was attending classes. I never... Um, uh, intended to teach but I start practicing on the beach and people were traveling they were coming keep coming first completely free then by donation then they were actually pushing me when the monsoon came they were pushing me to find space so they can still practice uh, under the, the shelter and and it's happening like this everywhere I go in Australia also I went with an intention of just traveling and exploring the land and then I keep coming across people who just wanted to learn more and more and and uh, soon we created such a beautiful yoga community I like uh, head, head stands and uh, shoulder stands I like all twisted asanas and everything what is new is uh, it's nice to try Anya is actually an amazing teacher uh, first she has knowledge Second, she's very dedicated and full of love for each and every of her um, students. Uh, she leaves a space also to be ourselves and uh, do yoga our way. Of course, remembering about uh, what are the what are the rules. She brings uh, so much joy and happiness. To, to the classes and also I can feel that she's very much experienced so she knows how to work with uh, every person. With that method is to keep your feet open. So you focus it on your left knee. Okay. see her dedication to her practice in the way that she connects with the students. You know, she
she'll bring some of her own journey, uh, some of the things that she finds comforting or challenging in the practice, uh, so that you can really relate to her. You can feel like you're both the student and the teacher. Um, and the regularity also. She gives this envy. She gives, gives us envy to come back here. Uh, it just puts me in a conscious way of living, you know. Every choice I make uh, after doing yoga is about self-love and about what to eat that will make me feel better, what will make me actually energetic, what will actually benefit me throughout the day, how long I will sleep. It sets the right kind of pattern and gives me the right energy to consciously choose things which kind of transform me every day. My mom told me, you're stupid because you live in your body. Why would you think about the weather? Why would weather, uh, like, how can weather uh, rule your life? And I'm like, what? Don't you supposed to live in your body, not in your head? <laughs> so, yoga means union, which is the union of the body, mind and spirit. But it's also the union of the body, mind and spirit when it's unified already with the ultimate truth. And whatever the truth is for you, we all have our own beliefs, our own experiences, but our life is ruled by, by, by our beliefs. But sometimes our belief system is completely wrong. What she, what she give to the community, community takes care of the person, you know. And uh, she has good energy, I wish her good luck in the future, keep doing the same thing, same way, and grow bigger and bigger and help people around with her, uh, with her knowledge, wisdom, with her experience, and uh, keep it going. And uh, yeah, again, wish you good luck with every, everything what you do in life and in your journey with yoga. <laughs> And in fact, I always say that we are all learning from each other and we all walk in each other's home, you know, and I very often I actually say I'm a yoga instructor, not a teacher, because I learn so much also by adjusting people, by leading the class, I learn so much about their bodies and about their limitations and we're all mirroring each other. There's like no way, when you go through your fear, there's no way that the universe will not support you. And every, I actually believe that everything you dream about is behind your fear. So you need to cross this barrier of being scared of doing something and then miracles happen.